Today we are going to use ATE Systems InCal product to calibrate a four-port network analyzer and measure a four-port DUT. The InCal hardware consists of two pieces, an ICM connected to each test port of the network analyzer and an FCM connected to each port of the DUT. There are many attractive features to InCal. First, it allows for fully automated calibration. That is to say, there are absolutely no hardware changes needed for calibration. No connecting or disconnecting calibration standards, no cable movement, and no operator intervention other than initiating the calibration process. To begin, we set the measurement parameters, such as frequency limits, sweep type, number of points, IF bandwidth, and so on. In this setup, the ICMs and FCMs are connected, as is the DUT, which in this case is a four-port coupler. You'll notice that we are going to calibrate with the DUT connected, and that when the calibration is finished, we will not need to remove the ICMs or the FCMs. This is possible because of another of InCal's many attractive features, that a through connection is not required at the DUT reference plane. Although the device we are measuring today is coaxial, in some cases it can be very difficult to make a through connection at the DUT reference plane if, for example, the device is non-coaxial, if it uses mixed interface types, or if it's measured in a test fixture. InCal eliminates these challenges. On the PNA, the software is set up to run as a macro, so we begin calibration by selecting InCal from under the macro menu. Once we tell the software to begin calibration, it's off and running. The calibration modules are characterized impedance standards whose data is stored within each module. Each module is switched through its various states and measured. When all the sweeps have been performed, the error terms are calculated and loaded into the analyzer so that when the calibration has been completed, the display is showing corrected data. Since no manual steps are required, the calibration process is very fast, very accurate, and free of any operator error. Now that the calibration is finished, we can see that the corrected DUT measurement is on the display. The modular nature of the hardware is very configurable, even allowing a different number of VNA ports and DUT ports. For example, if a 2-port VNA is connected to a 16-port DUT through a MUX, you would have an ICM on each of the two VNA ports and an FCM on each of the 16 DUT ports. Otherwise, the calibration process is just as simple as the one we saw here today for four ports. Just a matter of telling the software to begin calibration. The rest is fully automated.